Good afternoon and welcome back to Executive Corner Expert Talks. I'm joined by Dr. Baya, CEO and founder of Mandra Soft. Now, Dr. Baya, over the years, the cloud computing landscape has excited, sorry, evolved tremendously and is estimated to continue its upward momentum in the future as well. What have been the key developments that have come into light in the past year, which have also been a difficult one for economies and businesses? So thank you for having me. Uh, you know, cloud computing has been around for last uh, 10 to 12 years. So there are many advances uh, are made in this area, uh, including what we call providing virtualized infrastructure to uh, end users. Uh, the more recently, uh, during last one years, what we saw with the, uh, the world facing COVID-19 pandemic, uh, more and more applications have moved to cloud computing environment. As a result, there is a, a good interest in how to utilize multiple cloud um, uh, data centers to deliver real-time services uh, to support uh, applications uh, that enable people to work from home. Uh, so that is one of the major uh, focus. And second is, uh, you know, there are more and more end-user devices, you know, what we call Internet of Things devices, such as uh, healthcare uh, IoT devices. And these devices are also used for remote patient uh, monitoring. And so there are very advances made in uh, cloud computing to support those applications from the perspective of what we call microservices and software defined networks and multi-cloud and edge cloud model to interconnect them to deliver services in real time smoothly to uh, users that are making use of these cloud services. All right, it sounds like it's constantly evolving then. Yes, definitely. So it is constantly evolving to meet requirements, newer and newer uh, application requirement. Uh, and especially now, we are also talking about how to enable this AI, artificial intelligence applications in healthcare, in uh, in uh, enterprise domains, uh, in of course in financial domain. And these uh, applications require uh, massive computing capability that can be provisioned dynamically. And this is where cloud computing plays a very important role. And uh, the usage of cloud has drastically escalated uh, uh, due to this uh, pandemic and uh, various lockdown uh, in various places around the world. And of course, oh, as you know, uh, yeah, so other uh, things such as uh, remote uh, education or uh, remote working up, uh, requires the use of software systems such as Zoom that are actually cloud-based video conferencing software and they have become very popular uh, uh, with uh, cloud computing and especially during the last one year. Absolutely. I can imagine that's only accelerated due to the pandemic. Now, Microsoft aims to simplify net-based cloud and big data computing. What would you say are your strategies and solutions to accomplish this? Yeah, so Microsoft has developed a, a cloud application platform called Aneka. So this Aneka cloud application platform enables uh, our customers and enterprises to build applications rapidly. So in that direction, we have put together a software development kit, uh, you know, with the various uh, APIs and the tools that one can use to build applications rapidly. And uh, once the applications are developed, and those applications can be delivered or deployed seamlessly from multi uh, from one enterprise cloud to you know multiple uh, clouds in a, uh, in a enterprise or across uh, geography so these are the uh, very unique uh, proposition we put forward uh, recognizing the advances area plus some of our APS are especially extended to support create in deep learning, machine learning, and also um, creating some of the applications that help analyze COVID research uh, data. So these are the our strategic development uh, from um, Aneka, from our Mandra Sub. And of course, we have a very strong strategy on how to take it to the market, and we have been doing that during the last uh, 10 years. And you mentioned the COVID-19 research publications data. Could you maybe elaborate on how Microsoft's Anika technology has been used to create these applications? Sure. So during last uh, almost, uh, you know, um, close to 18 months, so worldwide, there are lots of uh, academic and industrial researchers are carrying out research on various aspects of COVID-19, including social distancing, uh, PPE, uh, personal protection equipment, and of course, in the domain of uh, creating uh, drug. So all these applications, uh, 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 you know, all these works, uh, uh, researchers have published uh, many, many papers, already more than 150,000 uh, papers are published 
publish and this paper data need to be analyzed to find out what is the progress on vaccine what is the progress on uh, covid you know uh, social distancing what is the progress on iot enabled application and to analyze this kind of uh, data set that research, research publication can, if you do it on a single laptop it might take uh, like one hour and you want to do within 5 minute and this is where cloud can be used anaka technology has been used to create uh, application that can uh, help you to do mine this research data quickly to come out with insight to identify the progress absolutely and it sounds like that's very important work as well that you're doing yes yeah so this is a uh, very timely uh, especially uh, if this covid 19 pandemic were, uh, was not there we would not be thinking of those kind of application uh, but of course this is a opportunity and also challenge for the world and for us well that makes perfect sense now the cloud computing market we know is ever evolving so considering that what changes do you think we can look forward to in the market for the coming years so uh, in the coming year you can see that uh, more and more digitization uh, digitization happens uh, and more and more applications which were done manually they move to the cloud environment and then uh, many automation happens plus of course uh, this emergence of machine learning and ai will help accelerate and uh, make decision process automatically rather than uh, having a human involved in the process so those are the from the perspective of application then when it comes to the technology and infrastructure the infrastructure need to be enabling those applications and we'll also see uh, healthcare remote health monitoring so these days you know uh, if there is a uh, uh, lockdown or if there is a you know wave new wave of uh, this covid pandemic or virus uh, spread so it is not possible for uh, to accommodate everyone in the hospital so therefore this remote monitoring remote healthcare and this is where uh, internet of things enabled healthcare devices are coming in the picture we will see the more and more emergence of what we call hospital in a box so at your home you will have some kind of this uh, you know edge cloud and so remote cloud they interconnect together and you will have uh, various uh, iot healthcare uh, devices that will monitor you so to, uh, so to see how you are progressing and if of course if there is emergency then only move it to the hospital otherwise you do it at your home so these are the kind of applications uh, that emerges and of course cloud computing appropriate uh, extension will be made to make that happen Sounds like there's uh, some very important developments on the horizon and I particularly like the idea of a hospital in a box. Yes. Well, we look forward so to these seeing are, those. Yeah, certainly I I guess uh, the world is also looking forward. Already there are some prototype solutions are there we ourselves have demonstrated, but it takes it takes time for them to move all the way from the laboratory setting towards the real world deployment uh, but uh, given that the rate at which our digital technology moves uh, it will not be too long uh, already uh, some of the applications are being uh, are using but to make them commodity and easy to use for everyone is the way to go and uh, in the direction uh, you know we are contributing uh, in research uh, and also in the product solution and then of course uh, help create such application rapidly and quickly and deliver them to customer so that is really goal of our mandra soft uh, technology that's really good to hear and we'll definitely be keeping an eye on Magisoft for those developments. On that note though, it is just about time to wrap up, but I've got to say thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Baya. It's been great to hear insights. So thank you very much for having me. I really appreciate it. Pleasure to have you on. And thanks for your time as well, viewers. Stay tuned for more live market updates. As we say here, stay prized and invest wise with Calkine.